Sherman for five minutes. Uh, Mr. Harper, you heard uh, your colleague, Mr. Barr, say he's going to stay on to the end of his term. Of course, the president can move you from chair to member, yes. but your term continues to 2027. Are you going to be serving out your term? I, when I was confirmed by the United States Senate, I committed to serving through 2027. I, I remain committed to doing just that. Thank you. And I hope that one thing that you do is allow the volunteers who serve on credit union boards to get reimbursed for their child care expenses as well as their travel expenses. Uh, so uh, that is something that is on our rulemaking Good. agenda. Good. And uh, it's more than just child care. We're also looking at elder dependent care. Um, Mr. Barr, I've served 28 years along with uh, Mr. Meeks on the Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, the biggest thing that could happen uh, that that committee would focus on that would affect you would be a blockade or invasion of Taiwan by China. You do a lot of stress tests. Uh, can our major institutions survive uh, what would be a, uh, at least a temporary rupture in the U.S.-China trade relationship? Uh, Congressman, we uh, work with our regulated financial institutions to make sure that they are using the tools they have to do But have you done a stress test to see whether analytics. they can handle that stress? Yes or no? We don't separately have a formal stress test I like the capital I suggest stress that, test that you do that because that's risk. the biggest international event that, 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 that could occur. Um, the... Uh, uh, I, I know you've told me that you hope that your colleagues in the next administration are reasonable and that you want to join hands with them on, Bo uh, on whatever version Basel III uh, takes. Uh, we've seen the Trump administration have nominees from Rubio to Gates. I know you hope to see uh, appointees in your area that are uh, consistent with Rubio. If uh, the, your colleagues in Basel III ha end up being incredibly unreasonable, uh, are you prepared to go it uh, alone if that's what it takes to keep our banking system secure? Uh, Congressman, as I said at the outset, I, I'm looking forward to collaborating with colleagues at, at the OCC. I, 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 please don't dodge the, the hypothetical. We could have a Gates, we could have a Rubio. Uh, what do you do if you end up with unreasonable colleagues? I'm, I'm not going to engage in that. Okay. Um, we uh, have uh, uh, the, the uh, one issue that you and I have talked about a lot is the interest rate risk. You're wise to move forward with regard to mark to market on held for sale securities, but you're unwilling to do the uh, uh, held to maturity securities. Uh, the slender read is that FASB hasn't done that, but FASB is not responsible for the uh, security of our banking system. Um, Trump's economic policies, in the view of the Peterson Institute for International Eco Economics, would raise inflation by between four and seven and a half points. That's way beyond what we've ever seen in this century. And that doesn't count the fact that the crypto folks are trying to partially displace the dollar, and that would weaken the dollar and have an even greater effect than the Peter Institute has, has calculated. Uh, so uh, I would urge you to take, you know, take a look at Silicon Valley Bank and realize that interest rate risks uh, are uh, quite significant, even on held to, um, held to maturity securities, and would also point out that as long as you don't get, as long you have a system that is tougher on small business loans than on held to market securities, because small business loans are short term or interest rate adjusted. So uh, I would hope that you deal not only with the security of the system, but the bias that you have that caused Silicon Valley Bank and others to invest in, in long term treasuries at great risk rather than local uh, business loans. Um, uh, the gentleman from Iowa points out uh, that your regulations can reduce economic growth. But he wasn't here in 2008, if memory serves me correct, correctly. And to see what happens when we have under-regulation and the damage that did and is still doing to the social contract in America. And so I would hope uh, that uh, you wouldn't go all the way in the direction of economic growth if that means uh, a risk that bailouts are going to be required. 
Uh, you have moved very significantly from your original proposal uh, and your increases in capital now are roughly half of what they would be. And I hope that you proceed, hopefully with good colleagues. I yield back. Gentlemen's time.